Hello from Bug Eye Guy. Today we have an unusual drive for you. And listen in and you'll see it's an automatic bug eye. So you can see me there doing the manual shifting and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But this is a really nice car. It was very, very well executed. It has a Chevette engine in it and an automatic GM transmission to go with it and the thing works just great. It's about a 52 horsepower engine so it's not a screamer but it works just fine. It's a lot like a 948 bug eye. It's very well built. The tunnel was well done. You can see how nicely he fit this in here. The e-brake had to be bent to get it to fit around the tunnel but other than that it doesn't really encroach on your space. You did have to lose the battery tray, so the battery is mounted in the trunk. You see it there on the left uh, behind the passenger seat. But it's really, really well executed. He's got a bunch of switches here. The, uh, the horn is that one there. You have to have the key on. The upper switch is the dip switch, the high beams. Uh, and there's the lights as stock. It has overdrive, which is a really nice feature. So you have a three-speed automatic with an overdrive. And, of course, the fuel gauge. The far out right switch is the wipers. And then in front of the shift lever, we have two electric fans. We'll see in a minute. Put the cup holders in, too. There's one on each side. And it's kind of odd to have a bug eye with just a gas pedal and no clutch. But, it, again, it works so well. And the whole reason for this is for people who have mobility or whatever limitation or they just want an automatic. He's made some really good bonnet latches that's done with an allen key there's the at the lower portion right there is the lock that you saw me turning inside the footwell and it engages that that nipple right there and it works quite nicely there's also a locating cone right there that goes into the nose and there's that chevette power plant again it's just very very tidy the way he put it in here he fabricated it beautifully he's got those twin electric fans there and it just works. The prior owner that had this car used it, I think, about 12,000 miles of good reliability. It has uh, the transmission oil cooler is there underneath the washer bottle. You can just see it flat there. The air comes up underneath it. And those are the killer fans. There's one on now. And then there's a second switch. When that second one goes on, it really moves a lot of air. And they're both controlled under the dash. They're also thermostatically controlled. But again, it's just a very high quality build. We see a lot of modified cars, not quite nearly as nice as this one. He's got a two-speed wiper motor there from a later Sprite and also the later Sprite Brake Master. And you can see there where the tunnel was cut away a little bit. That's why we lost the heater and the battery shelf. But there's an alternator and a header and just nice, easy to work with GM stuff and an ample radiator. And again, and the lever shocks are still there too. It just works. And for that, I'm, I'm really impressed. To start it, there's actually a toggle switch next to the key that engages the starter motor. That's a little unconventional. They did away with the pull cable, but it works great. And then, of course, you have that, that very traditional shift console, which, again, if you're looking for an automatic, this is a rare thing to find. And uh, it's really kind of nice to not have to think about the gearbox. We get cars all the time with damaged gearboxes. And this is a way around that, and it works just great. In this little clip, you can see me driving without shifting it manually. And the shift points are nice and work out fine. And it's a great package. So if you have a mobility challenge or you want to give a car like this to someone who can't drive a manual transmission, we hope you give it a serious look. It's a really nice automatic bug eye.